that the Quran recognizes two kinds of Christians. Oh yes, one part of the Quran, the Lord God has prohibited Muslims, prohibited us from maintaining friendship and being in alliance with Christians and Jews. You are prohibited. We ask, well, could he be talking about all Christians and all Jews? No, because there are many, many other verses of the Quran which will be in conflict with that. Well, then, if he's not talking about all Christians and all Jews, when he gave the command, do not take Christians and Jews as your friends and allies, with which Christians is he talking about? And the verse continues to tell us the answer. It says, don't take such Christians and such Jews as your friends and allies who themselves are friends and allies of each other, indicating that the Quran is anticipating a reconciliation between one part of the Christian world and one part of the Jewish world and the establishment of friendship and alliance and the emergence of a Judeo-Christian alliance. When that happens, do not be friends and allies of those Christians and those Jews. Has that alliance already emerged? Yes, it has. And it is known as the Judeo-Christian Zionist alliance. The Zionist movement was established in 1897 in the, the city of Basel in Switzerland. And uh, since then, events have continued to unfold mysteriously in the historical process, stage by stage, step by step, until eventually a state of Israel is restored in the Holy Land, with the bogus claim to be Holy Israel of David the prophet and of Solomon the prophet. If you turn to those Christians and those Jews with friendship and alliance, the Zionists, then the Lord God says you no longer belong to us, you belong to them. So then what, what's the position with Saudi Arabia, which has been a client state of the Judeo-Christian Zionist alliance for so long? About 20 years ago, I made the mistake of saying that Saudi Arabia and Israel were sisters. Now, 20 years later, I realized I was mistaken. At that time, they were only cousins. Now, they're sisters. What then do we say of Turkey, which is a member of NATO? What is the status of Turkey based on the Quran? If you turn to them with friendship and alliance, which is membership in NATO, you no longer belong to us. You now belong to them. And the verse ends with these ominous words, Surely the Lord God does not provide guidance to a wicked people.